Welcome back to Dark Corner Streaming. Shiver of the Vampires is the third in Jean Roland's series of lesbian vampire films, one of a number you can stream on BFI Player or on Amazon Prime with a free trial of BFI Player. We have reviewed Roland's Zombie Lake for our regular bad movie strand. <laughs> the lake! The lake! The lake! <laughs> and some might argue that that's where this and pretty much every Roland movie belong. <laughs> they are cheap, light on plot, and very much exploitation. But there's no denying their influence. They are breathlessly stylish and, at their best, surprisingly watchable. Firstly, and most obviously, there's no denying Roland's eye for colour or an image, the bride in the graveyard or the vampire emerging from the clock. And the visuals are even more arresting thanks to the film's setting. The story is a gothic standard, the newlyweds stopping at the castle, where it turns out the inhabitants aren't as dead as advertised. Ils sont morts tous les deux. Yeah. But this is not a period film, or wasn't when it was made, and Roland leans heavily into the dual aesthetic. So the opening of a grave has an almost Nosferatu vibe but the vampire who emerges is straight out of the summer of love, with the music playing an equal role. Hippie vampires sounds like a punchline, and Roland smartly allows us to find the two male vampires slightly ridiculous, so that Isolde can remain threatening. And, as well as feeding in current music and fashion, the film manages to introduce 70s social politics into vampire hierarchy. Vous êtes des vampires bourgeois. It's interesting to compare this to Hammer's Dracula AD 1972, made the following year, in which Gothic and 70s style were much less comfortable bedfellows. Alongside the bold visuals and stylized compositions is a plot that while not original, is engaging. Les vieux châteaux sont dangereux. Plein de pièges et de mystères. Il faut être très prudent. While some of Roland's films jettison plot almost completely, Shiver of the Vampires has a clear, simple story underpinning the visuals. As newly married Isil is seduced before her marriage is even consummated. It's a plot we've seen a hundred times before in European vampire films of the 60s, but Roland's slow, dreamlike telling of that story is oddly mesmerizing. So you almost imagine a mystery where one really doesn't exist. Je ne sais vraiment plus où nous en sommes. Except we do. Everything that's happening is exactly what it seems, which ought to be dull. And yet it isn't. Est invraisemblable à notre époque, mon ami. You are watching a seduction. Roland's vampires are like cats playing with their food, making for a morbidly fascinating watch. There's no getting around, it is very exploitative. Although it only once slips into the genuinely nasty side of exploitation cinema. <laughs> in a scene that requires the characters to change substantially and which completely fails to convince. That to one side, it's not a great film, it is a bit trashy, but it's easy to be seduced by it and I think I kind of was. Thanks for watching. What's your take on Jean Roland? Exploitation auteur or just a bit sleazy? Let us know in the comments below.